And now to that mysterious Malaysian jet that vanished on its path to Beijing. The story is just unbelievable. And two days later, here we are, and there's still no sign of the plane that was carrying 239 passengers. ABC's Taman Bradley is in Washington with the latest on that. Search and rescue teams continued scouring the maritime border between Malaysia and Vietnam, looking for the wreckage of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. But so far, ships haven't found anything. This morning, we learned scientists determined an oil slick sample from the South China Sea was not from Flight 370. We have not found anything that appears to be objects from the aircraft, let alone the aircraft. Malaysia Airlines told the families of the 239 people on board to prepare for the worst. American passenger Philip Wood's mother is still very shocked. If you want to know how it feels to lose a son, at the age of 50, it's devastating. Um, but I know in my heart that Philip's with God. Malaysian authorities say military radar suggests the plane flying from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing may have been turning around before it vanished, but there was no mayday or any communication, and the plane was flying at cruising altitude. That is a really, really safe place to be, which makes this mystery all that much deeper. Also this morning, an urgent investigation is underway to identify two individuals who boarded the flight using passports stolen in Thailand. The tickets of the two imposters appear to have been bought around the same time, suggesting that perhaps the two coordinated. Malaysian authorities could not answer why the men were able to board the flight using passports that were reported stolen. Sources say without the black boxes and debris from the plane, it's impossible to know what happened, whether it was mechanical failure, pilot error, or terrorism. Tamon Bradley, ABC News, Washington. The U.S. Navy has now joined the search with a guided missile destroyer in the South China Sea and a surveillance plane based out of Okinawa.